So I think as an eye set is an easy winner. Hello gorgeous, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Willow is here and we're doing some more makeup and we're actually doing brush review. <laughs> we got these two makeup sets, these brush sets from Luvia. They said, hey, do you want to review some products? I said, yeah, okay. 15 vegan brushes and they're aimed at like the mid-level market, so they're not like the luxury brushes, although they do say they put them up against luxury brushes. So we we'll shall see. We'll see how that works. We should, yeah, we'll be the judge of that, shall we? And also these from, I can't pronounce, I should probably have written that down somewhere. Uh, I think it's Nanshi. It's like Nancy with a sh. Nancy. Nan 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 so we got these as well. This is only a 10 brush or a 9 piece set or 10 with a case. So we two mid range priced at a premium quality apparently. How are we going to compare these? How about you? You do a full face of makeup on me. Oh, stop Because you've got makeup on and I do not. Gorgeous. And, I don't, and let's be honest, I don't want to sit here with like... A bare face. Yeah. We're going to be using the 35B palette. Are we? Yes, we are. So let's start off with um, the Nanshi set. Yeah. Let's open up and take a look. They okay. look pretty fair. I've got to say, I really like the, the aesthetic on these. Yeah. Well, they look large. I know. I mean, look at this. These are all, they're all the same. This is the number 17 brush. Mm. So the, the hardware is etched. They've got wooden handles. They've got the Nanshi logo on the back. They've got the number 17. That's quite nice. So nice brush, it's got like a distressed wood look. So as an aesthetic, they look great. I like the I like the, 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 the black bright work. And they feel really nice. They give me kind of like boho vibes. They, they feel like, yeah, like an old vintage sort of look. The qual the feel and the quality of the bristle feels amazing. It really does. Like mm. a good lace front. If you've seen other brush reviews, you'll see with synthetics, they do hold their shape quite well. Yeah. Whereas natural ones tend to be a little bit of a rah! <laughs> I mean, they're not badly packaged. No, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's kind of It's a plastic box. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a plastic container. Um. So they come sort of in that little sticky doodad. Also comes in this like faux leather with like a rose coloured gold. Not the best case, to is be it, honest. Is it leather? Yeah, this vegan. Does it smell like animals? It smells of plastic. Oh, so it smells of plastic. So not cars. beef. Not beef. And you got an Anchi logo on it. So you know what? It's all right. For a vegan brand, like you can just see in the light there, sort of the skin. And it looks lush. And I mean, they've done a good job at recreating leather out of not leather. And, and here's the thing, like this, this, this set only retails for $49.99 or $59.99. And I mean, that's not a high price for a no. good set of brushes. I mean, there's not loads and loads of brushes, but there's enough brushes to get you through one. Well, yeah, it's, lots of I would lots. say for 10 brushes, it's about the same price per brush, give or take, as like a Morphe 20p 20 20 set, which would be about yeah. 150 quid. And I mean, and talking about multiple looks, just look at this blending brush. Like, Oh, it's so soft, and I mean the the wood on this is just stunning. Well, it's nice you get a you get a nice little brush for packing it in. You get um, a, wow. a crease brush. You Love get the that. blending brush. Yeah, it's, it's you know it's, it's well thought out set. You get a nice angle brush for doing your liner. You get two big powder brushes, a contour brush. Would you say? Yeah. And and a, and the eyebrow brush that nobody ever seems to use. Oh. Have, we, have you ever used an eyebrow brush? Yeah, we do. Um, you don't I do. like this. I think out of all of them, this this brush, the tapered brush and the contour brush are my favourite. Like, I mean, just look at the quality on this. Like, I mean, this isn't QVC, but I, I could sell this product. It, no, I could. So next up, we have the Louvier. Louvier? No, it's not an A, it's a Louvier. I'm sure it? it's Louvier. It, it's not, it it's, sounds more bougie. It's a Louvier. Ah, Louvier. We can call it, we Say can, what you will. We can pretend, pretend it's French, but it's a German company. The Louvier Cosmetics Sweet Tube. The brushes sweet as candy. Ah, oh. stunning. So in the box, it's a bit more, a bit, a bit there's more There's a little welcome. On. There's the little slogan. Oh yeah. Live, love, Luvia. <laughs> just a really dodgy live, laugh, love. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> so, stunning. We have a pouch, which I'll put here for a minute. So the packaging is nice. We like the packaging. Yeah, I quite like this faux silk bag. It's quite an, I must say, it's, it's, quite, it's quite an event to open, isn't it? Yeah, it seems really like the, the pink and black, really like boudoir and like... It's nice. Just nice. And this is only this is only ten pounds more. Like, how great would that be for travel? Like, come on, sis. Honestly, you know, to be fair, that's quite a well-made container Listen. as well. It's quite thick. Oh, it's not going to crush easily. It's actually, it's you know, it's proper. I absolutely love the way they're packed. Guaranteed. Little bits of fruit. Handmade, so that's nice. And yeah, look at that. So this is the pink set, as you can probably tell. On in fact, on it's pink. That's a very nice synthetic. I'm just saying. Oh, I think already I prefer the feel of these brushes compared to the other ones. I think you could be right, you know. But let's let's. Dare. But I prefer the handles on let's the other dare set. Let's to compare. On an aesthetic, I'm still preferring. No, wrong. The Nanshi. 
So these are both powder brushes. Oh yeah, okay. Um, this is a little bit more flatter. I think there's more bristles, bristles. Denser pack. There's more bristles in this, and this is a little bit denser. Then this is softer, and I mean, it's a, it's a lot more tapered than this one. Um, I like them both. If this brush had this handle, perfect. You actually get five more, no, six more brushes in this set. Yeah. Yeah, one of those. Oh. What even is that? That? No. No, it's not. It's I think it's a tapered under eye brush. Oh, I'll pick your eyes. removing a bake. Under eye. So like to sweep. I'll need to battle angel eyes. That's what that's for. Is one of those eye brow brushes nobody ever uses? You literally used one about five minutes ago to brush your eyelashes. Yeah, that was rare. That's a contour brush. Okay, we love an angled face brush. Nice. Okay, now I'm not sure about this one. I'll be honest. It's a stippling brush, but it's a little soft for a stipple brush. Um, personally, I wouldn't use this as a stippling brush or on a client because it's not, for me, it's not thick enough. I mean, perfect for somebody else, maybe, but for me, it's not thick enough. R right away, power. I'm going to say that's not going to replace my MAC. Oh, no. A foundation brush? I mean, nobody uses a foundation brush. There are just a select few who do. And this is where it really shines. Look at all these applicators. Contour brushes, liner brushes, lip brush, liner brush, two blenders. Eyebrow brush. Yeah. The eye collection in this is like another level. Straight off the bat, I already like the angled shadow brush. Um, the liner brush is nice. I don't really use liner brushes, but if I needed to, it looks quite nice. However, I think it's, it's a little bit too thick for a liner brush. What do you think? So value for money, okay? Considering the Lumia set, has 15 brushes, and the Nanshi set has nine brushes, but there's only 10 pounds difference in price. Um, the Lumia is better value. Oh yeah, but then I think with certain brushes, like for powders, they work amazing, but for liquids, I don't think so much. Well, what I think is the Lumia set behaves like a natural fiber set. Yeah. Whereas the Nanshi set behaves like a synthetic set. And for the money, you could kind of get them both. And you could kind of use the Lumia set as your as a replacement for, because yeah. they do, a, they feel like natural fibers. They absorb product like natural fibers. I prefer the Lumia. I prefer that set. However, I think with the other set, I prefer the look of them. Aesthetic, I agree. Without yeah. So when it comes down to aesthetic, without doubt, these little brown brushes look dead good. Individual brushes, I would say the production quality is higher on the Nanshi because it's wood, it's got nice hardware. Yeah. I think each brush costs and feels more expensive. But I think you're going to get more use on average out of the Lumia set. Yeah. I think there were only two or three brushes in the Nanshi set, like the this this one here. Yes, this Nanshi, this Nanshi number 16, this is an amazing brush. Um, and I think the liquid application was really nice too. Yeah. So I think the liquid foundation brush was really good. So about half of those brushes are excellent. The eye brushes, I think the Lumia won that. Yeah, quite the eye brushes were a lot nicer and it made the product go on amazing. And when it was being applied with the Lumia brushes, it was smooth. I could feel the product just being applied easily. Whereas, and it's interesting because when you're doing it yourself, it's hard to be subjective. Yeah. But being on this side of it and just having it applied to me, it felt like you had to work much harder on the eyes in particular with an Anchi product. Yeah, I mean, I had to reapply, what was it, three times? Really? Whereas with the Lumiere set, I only applied twice. That was just for extra dust. So I think as an eye set, the Lumiere is an easy winner. As an overall set, the Lumia is actually still the winner, although the Nanshi has some key brushes that I really, really like. Yeah. And as a liquid set, I think just at liquids, I think the Nanshi has it. It seems to apply liquids a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but overall, I think I do prefer the Lumia set. The Lumia set, and they're, they're both roughly the same price. If you're buying one, I think it's a safe win for the Lumia. The one weakness that the Lumia has, it doesn't have a stiff brush. No. This is a really stiff brush. And as you saw, how the contour just went bang. Yeah. Just dab it on. It's like it behaves like a sponge. That is a really good applicator. Lumia doesn't have a, a brush like, like that, a stipple oh, no. brush. It doesn't have one. It's got a soft, it looks like a stipple brush, but it's really, really soft. Whereas that's like, that's like, it's like, a, it's like, yeah, a, plank. It's like a rock. That's it. Links to both these products are in the description below off of Amazon. You can go and buy them right now. Thank you so much for having these products to review. There were no losers here, but apart from you, really. Ah, <gasps> rude. But what do you think? Leave your comments below. Have you used these sets? Do you like these sets? I'd love to know. What do you think of this look? Purple? I've never done purple before. I mean, if you like me, then comment on that too. I kind of like it. Yeah. Also, what do you think of Willow? Willow needs her own channel. 
Amazing, sickening, stunning, great. If you liked your video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you're Then, wrong. oh well, not Ooh, my problem. Give us a thumbs down. Don't forget to share. If you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button, smash that alarm bell popping up over there. Ding, 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 ding. Is the last video I put out, and below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the very next show. Bye. Mwah.